Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be back in Sydney where it's freezing cold and rainy, just like Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Darren has asked me to talk a little bit about Aikido and why we do and why we do it. You see a whole bunch of different demonstrations. I can assure you I am way, way slower than Tongo Sensei, uh, but I will do my best to uh, show you what we do, why we do it. All right? Uh, again, has who hasn't seen Aikido before? This is the first time ever. Okay. Who isn't a member of Aikido Yoshinkai New South Wales? Well, why don't you join? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been training Yoshinkai Aikido now for 33 years, and the best thing I can say about Yoshinkai Aikido is, after 33 years, it's still interesting. It's really magic, that's a little bit difficult, but uh, it's a really worthwhile way to spend some time. I'm lucky to be here because Darren and I trained together for a long time in Tokyo, and I was actually Peggy Wu's first teacher at the Homu Dojo in Japan. There's a story behind that, but I'll tell you about that later. But I'm pleased to say that she said, my technique and teaching style is getting better. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've done lots of things today, and you've seen stuff. Uh, the real idea of Aikido is very simple. You make sure you always put yourself into a strong position and the opponent is compromised. Uh, some people don't like this about Aikido, but I love it. We practice together. So even if John slowly does a punch from my stomach, you don't want to get hit. So even when he punches that way from here, <coughs> you stop him. All right? But show a big smile. <laughs> so if someone throws you hard in Aikido, it feels good. You just have to trust me on that. But again, what we believe in Aikido is by controlling ourselves, we can control the opponent. And you'll notice there's lots of grabbing techniques, and then some people were doing this and that, so I'm going to bore you and do type of the same type of thing. But many people think the reason why we, and I'm trying to go back and forth, so if I turn my back, I apologize, I really shouldn't do that. But the main thing people think we, we grab in Aikido is because the opponent has a sword and we have to grab the hand. And that could be true, but it's not really why we grab in our training. Why do you think we let people grab in our training? Because there's no combative system in the world where you let your opponent grab you. Right? Sports is different, but a combative system, there's none in the planet where you let the opponent grab you. Why do you think we let them grab? See if Nathan can remember. Right? I put him on the spot there. Everybody say, boo. Alright? The reason, yeah, say louder, boo. The reason, the reason why we, we let them grab is because nobody punches or kicks going backwards. What we do, we say, I key. I key is basically means together spirit. And as Darren said, we do itchy techniques moving forward, knee techniques pivoting. Right? And that means, basically, I'm a lot bigger than Nathan and I'm much, much better looking, but the idea here is if he grabs and pulls, I don't pull back because we come, it's a fight. So if he lets go, I'm off balance. If he pushes, I don't push back because it becomes a fight. Right? So the idea in Aikido is we work together with the energy. So when Nathan pushes, I say, thank you very much. And same idea, or if he pushes, I turn, so now he's off balance, and then it's easy to throw just with one finger, or... Oh. I'll show him a big smile. <laughs> I told you, they like it. All right? So, that's what we try to do to blend, and we let them grab so we can feel that. And again, you don't have to use any power. try to move as they go. And you'll notice everyone started from a position called Kamai. Kamai means to be ready. For our training, more importantly, it shows the physical manifestation of the state of your mind. All right, so from here, we said, if John grabs and pulls, I don't pull back. I move forward, he's off balance, and I can throw. If he pushes, I turn, keep him off balance, and then I can go. 
when your kamae becomes stronger, you don't move. So if he pushes, I don't move. If he pulls, I don't move. Even That's cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> and the reason why it's important to be balanced is because in Aikido, we don't use muscular strength. Though I know I'm a big guy, and I'm quite handsome in a West Coast surfer dude kind of way, <laughs> it's not about strength. It's about timing and correct positioning. All right? So again, Again, like I said, it's about timing, nothing to do with muscular strength. So, so when Paul strikes, this is when I have to move. So again, through our training, we build up our courage. So for one split second, Paul should almost think, ha, I got him, I'm going to hit him, I don't care if he's getting mad at me. And I guarantee you, I'll be really mad at him if he hits me. All right? But the idea, slowly, when he strikes, hey, you kind of get out of the way. And he's committed to the strike, so if he speeds it up, it looks like this. All right? And again, it's the idea of using his energy against him. When you get old like me, up and down, up and down a lot of time, you just get tired. So if he strikes that way, it's like that. And then you make them rest. And we always pin them on their stomach because now he can't kick me or punch me. And it makes it very convenient to you wet your fingers. <laughs> Timing, balance, and then we try to, you notice when we move, we always make our body wide and low and strong. If you're strong in that position, it means when he pushes, you don't have to move. You don't have to be immovable, but I'm not doing anything. <laughs> And the reason why that's important is because we have to set up the condition where I control her, put all my mind, body, energy into a weak spot. And then from here, now it's hard for her to get up. So if I want, I can brace it here. They're <laughs> to me too much. Right? But it's basically, it's like, Minimum effort, maximum effect, and we kind of go against the joint, all right? So, 